Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Cameron from Creative Technique. So this will hopefully be a series of short videos that give you and our customers some tips and advice on how best to look after the products. So for starters, do not neglect or mistreat your wood. Now I'm not saying you're gonna take a cricket bat like this and you know go crazy at it. Now, although you might be tempted. But at the same time, it's the small things that over time they build up and that's what causes the issues. So you might be causing damage, long lasting damage without realizing it. So for starters, start using coasters and placemats for your drinks and food. And this will stop like any condensation water from your drinks uh, damaging the wood or the heat and the temperature from your plates. Uh, solid wood tends to expand and shrink based on temperature and humidity and age so try to keep it away from radiators and try to keep it in a central area where you know it's quite aerated and that should stop any kind of smells forming on the table itself secondly this one's a bit of a shocker but regular cleaning and maintenance <laughs> uh, no one likes the thrill of cleaning it's not the most exciting thing you can do but if you do it slowly and get into the habit you'll you will slowly enjoy it but it saves that massive effort so if you've neglected it for a whole year and then you gotta like do it in the spring and the summer it's gonna be massive efforts but if you did it like you know every day or every other day then it wouldn't be uh, that big of a deal so first things first is try to use a duster or a cloth to remove any layers of dust and grime that you might have built up over time and uh, you can do that with several things so if you want to be fancy you can use like ostrich feather dusters you could use lamb's wool which is pretty good you can use just simple things like lint free cloth or a, an old t-shirt that's uh, an old cotton t-shirt but accidents are unavoidable you're inevitably going to spill something on the table or furniture so the best thing is to clean it up as soon as possible don't leave it and say i'll come back to it later because by that time it might, it might be too late. So try and deal with it there and then and uh, try and use one of those cloths. Ideally just get a cotton lid free cloth and that should absorb it pretty much straight away. So last thing, I promise I'm not trying to teach you how to suck eggs, but this one's just how to clean. There's, there's always method to madness and as such there's method to cleaning. Uh, so one thing I was surprised with was avoid using multi-surface finish on on the wood especially if it's not got like a, a lacquered coat on it you try to get a damp cloth ring clean it wring all the water out and then just uh, use that on the table and then with the dry cloth buff it up so in the wise words of mr. Miyagi wax on right hand wax off left hand wax on Wax off, breathe in through the nose, out the mouth. <sighs> Sorry, I could have hurt myself. <laughs> um, yeah, and finally, for those stubborn stains that you're struggling to get out, there's several techniques, but a couple that are pretty easy to use are uh, just use simple uh, soapy water, so you know, use fairy liquid or something, um, dilute it in water and uh, just use that on the stains that you might have in circular motion try to get it out and then just buff it out uh, going with the grain or you could use one part vinegar to ten parts of water and uh, use that on the stain and hopefully that should re get it out hopefully that helps you uh, these again like I said these are just quick and easy tips and hopefully they are of benefit to you